Entrepreneur, startup, SME are buzzwords of the 21st century. But today, what is really needed to be a successful entrepreneur, startup or SME? In the past, inventions were fundamental for economic development. Nowadays, it is not invention, but innovation that counts. Today's entrepreneurs, startups and SMEs cannot compete in the markets without innovation. In order to innovate, they need a set of skills to move their ideas into the market. First of all, they need finance to scale up their business as quick as possible. And there are several ways to get it. But only one of them gives more than just money, the business angels. They contribute with their know-how, provide mentorship, and share their own networks in contributing to the businesses they invest in. More than just finance, they provide smart finance. Now, business angels are the leaders of the world's early stage investment markets. Since 2015, more than 300,000 angel investors from the US invested more than $25 billion in startups and SMEs annually. While in Europe, more than 300,000 angel investors invested more than 6 billion euro annually. It is estimated that angel investment global market size is now over US $50 billion every year. The World Business Angels Investment Forum is an international organization aiming to ease access to finance from startup to scale up to exit. We focus on linking the best entrepreneurs, startups and SMEs with the most qualified angel investors and institutions in the world. Our main goal is to have all the players working together across borders. We do it by having our set of international training programs. We work with governments worldwide. We have our own World Business Angels Investment Fund. We have the Global CEO Alliance Club. And we focus on SME's scoring system. To bring all of it together, we organize exclusive investment events and annual meetings in which we identify strategies and actions during the year. And the World Excellence Awards in which we salute who stands out on imagining, discussing, and shaping the future of an entrepreneurial world. The World Business Angels Investment Forum invites all the investment market players, governments, and policymakers to join our global efforts to ease access to finance and create more jobs and more social justice worldwide. The World Business Angels Investment Forum, committed to empower the economic development of the world. I am the editor-in-chief of Harvard Times and the head content strategist for NextChange.com, a social media platform for the finance industry, which means people like you. We're very excited to have you come all the way here to Istanbul, this magnificent city. Give yourselves a big round of applause for making it here to Istanbul today to join the forum. Thank you very much. I'd like to talk off by starting about corporate venture before we get to angel investment. Corporate venture is on the rise. It has doubled its percentage of deployed venture capital around the world to 17% of the total. That means 5.6 billion US dollars across 775 transactions last year. But angel investment is not to be left behind. There was 6.5 Euro, billion euros worth of deals in Europe last year, 25 billion US dollars worth of deals in Canada and the United States. You add in Africa, you add in Latin America, you add in Asia. We are talking about $50 billion worth of deals last year. These numbers are tremendous. Now, an OECD study shows, and we know from our experiences in our communities, how important the work of entrepreneurs, SMEs, startups, and scale-ups are driving up to 90% of economic activity around the world. There are some governments around the world that get it. They understand this and they are driving new policies, whether it is through taxation or improved regulation, that are helping to promote angel investment in startups and scale-ups and SMEs. Now, those governments get it. A lot of them have been invited here today by the World Business Angel Investments Forum because that's what we do. We connect the players in the early equity uh, ecosystem. We are bringing them together. You are here today to discuss the challenges and the opportunities that we face in 2017 and beyond. This year in particular, 
we, our theme is corporate venture capital in partnership with angel investors from startup to scale up to exit. And we are going to be looking at that across the spectrum today. Uh, we are bringing together, again, the early stage players, and we're going to be looking at how corporate ventures can work to foster innovation within their companies and also in partnership. In partnership with angel investors, with startups, scale ups, so that they can help to drive high business growth. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a very exciting day to look at all these different issues. A big part of the story is technology, and we're going to be talking about technology at the forum. But we're going to be using technology today, and that means you. And so right now, I would like everybody to get their phones out, right? Don't worry, front row. I'm not going to think you're being rude if you're looking at your phones. Get your phones out. A lot of you want to use the technology. You want to know the Wi-Fi code to get on the hotel's Wi-Fi. So get into the Swiss Hotel Wi-Fi. The code today is WBAF. 2017. WBAF 2017. Do it right now. Get those phones out and put that code in because you're going to need to be on the Wi-Fi today. Um, the next thing we'd like you to do is we would like you to download the WBAF app. All right. We have an app. We are not killing trees by providing programs in that fashion. If you want to find out about the speakers, if you want to find out what's coming next, you have to have the WBAF app. So if you're on Android, get into the Google Store. If you're on an iPhone, get into their app store. And the code, search for WBAF 2017. You're going to be using that a lot today, right? So get on the Wi-Fi and then download the app. It'll take a second for you to put the profile today, but that's where you're going to get all the information about our speakers, about the event. Great. I see people going to their phones. You guys are doing a great job over there. Way to go. Fantastic. You're going to see and hear exciting things. All day today and even into the evening, you're going to want to take pictures. You're going to want to quote things and share it on social media to share it with people around the world. You'll make them jealous, wish they were here. So when you do that, we would ask that you use the hashtag, anyone want to guess? WBAF2017. That's right. This gentleman right here has got it. So that's your hashtag for the day so you can share, you can spread the message to the rest of the world. WBAF2017. Fantastic. I see people doing it. You're getting on the phones. That's wonderful. We also want you to be able to engage with our speakers on stage today. Our moderators will be taking questions, not old school microphone running around. We're going high tech at the WBAF. We're going to be using a technology called Slido. Right? So if you have your phone now, we've got something a little bit fun we want to do. We want to see what's in your heads right now. We're going to conduct a survey. We'd like you to get your browsers out. And go to your browser and put in www.sli.do. All right? If you have questions about any of this, for those of you uh, in the classroom style, you've got a document that looks like this in front of you, a little tent, and it's got all the data you need. Right? So go to your browser now and put in www.sli.do. It's going to ask you for a code. One more time. Anyone want to guess what the code is? WBAF 2017. Exactly. That will bring you into the WBAF section of Slido, and we've got a little something special for you. There's two parts to it. There are questions, which you'll be able to use later when we have panels up on stage, and there's polls, polls like surveys, right? Not like my good friends from Poland, if there's any here today, like surveys. And we'd like to put a survey up on the screen right now for you to have a look at. And if we can get that up there, we want to know what's in your heads. What areas of investment are you most excited about this year? And you can vote. So you check your vote and then go to the bottom and hit select. And we're going to find out which ones are the most interesting. If I can get it on the monitors up here, that would be great. And I can see the results as they're coming in. But we want to know what you're thinking and see if people are doing it. Fantastic. Carlos Cerrone, can you have a look? Is it up on the screen? Not yet. Slido, guys, if we can get it up there. Some of you have got it. I see you voting. That's great. You're doing a wonderful job. If we, can get, if we can get the vote up there, there we go. Look at that. Okay. In what sector are you most interested in investing? You can see it in action right there. FinTech out in the lead with 61%. Alternative energy. Alternative energy people in the room today. That might be our friend Energy Singh is interested in that. Consumer products, 19%. Social justice. Look at that. It's on the move. Right now, we are reading your minds. It's like magic, but it is the magic of technology. And, of course, it drives a lot of excitement in our sector. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're happy that you're, you're getting on Slido. You're going to be able to interact with our speakers today because we do have a brilliant lineup of speakers. 
I would like to welcome our first speaker to the stage today. Uh, he is the person who has worked so hard with his team to pull this event together. He is so passionate about angel investment and in making sure that small and new companies have access to capital, and he wants to connect people around the world. I would like you to welcome our leader, the chair of the World Business Angel Investment Forum, Mr. Vibros Altuntes. Vibros, please. <laughs> Her Excellency, the Minister of Trade and Industry of the Republic of Kosovo, the President of EBAN, ABAN, NBAN, and JCI, distinguished guests and speakers, delegates of the World Business Angels Investment Forum, members of the media. Welcome to the World Business Angels Investment Forum. Welcome to Istanbul. Ladies and gentlemen, today in Istanbul, we have 546 angel investors, angel network managers, policy makers, academics, high growth business owners, bank executives, presidents of international associations, and stock exchange executives from 54 countries. What is behind this meeting? We are here to address a very important challenge. We all know that access to finance for startups, scale-ups, entrepreneurs and SMEs, and high-growth businesses is one of the critical issues of the 21st century. But today, we also face another important challenge. Easing access to finance for angel investors for their second or third or further rounds of investment. Last year, 320,000 business angels invested 6.7 billion euro in Europe and 26 billion dollars in the US. The total investment in the world is expected to be 50 billion dollars in the coming years. If we want to increase the efficiency of these investments, along with market size, we have to leverage the investment capabilities of angel investors. Why is that so important? The reason is simple. Only angel investors have know-how and the networks to put startups and scale-ups into the capital markets. If we can create an innovative financial plan for early exits, this will mean more jobs in a shorter period of time. So, at this year's forum, we are going to focus on how corporate businesses can foster open innovation and deliver more business value by setting up partnerships with angel investors, startups, scale-ups, and SMEs. As the global leaders of early-stage investment markets, stock exchange executives, experts, policymakers, academics, bank, ex bank executives, active members of early stage investment markets and WBAS delegates, we are all coming together to create new ways for angel investors to ease access to finance. Today, we are here to shape the global agenda of the early stage equity market of the world. The $50 billion market for angel investment promises a hundred $50 billion exit in the next five to seven years. As you know, most of the early stage equity markets today are in G20 countries. So, cooperation with G20 administrations is very important if angels are going to meet the challenge. I was in this garden last month to attend G20 meetings on access to finance. I am happy to announce that WBAF is cooperating with the Germany G20 team this year. The aim is to raise awareness about the needs of angel investors. One of our first events will be an investment forum for young entrepreneurs, and we will be organizing that in cooperation with the 
G20 Child and Youth Finance International on the 3rd of May in Berlin. WBAH shines a spotlight on the importance of corporate ventures to accelerate the angel investment market. Let me give you what corporate ventures are doing today to create innovation. They are setting aside a certain amount of their company's budget to set up R&D departments, and they are creating employee teams that will focus on innovation, and by doing this, they are trying to convert their employees to entrepreneurs who will create innovation. But WBAF is proposing another path. Instead of wasting time and energy trying to convert employees to entrepreneurs, we are saying, why not to bring in entrepreneurs from outside the company? Bring in entrepreneurs who already raised angel money, they can bring much better innovation in a shorter period of time because they bring with them their angels who have know-how and network and an ability to mentor. Such a new route map from startup to angel investor to corporate venture will open the way for early exits. If international companies follow this route, it can create further rounds of investment in the country which will in turn decrease the number of angel investors trying to get into the Silicon Valley queue. To explain how this innovative roadmap can work, we have invited two world-famous names as keynote speakers today. Elsa Lukis, the UK Prime Minister's Business Ambassador for FinTech at UK Trade and Investment, asks the question, is this FinTech tipping point? And the speech of Paul Dwayne, the Chief Executive Officer of Turk Telecom, will talk about empowering the world economies through partnerships between corporate ventures and angel investors. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. To keep the investment momentum, we have included in this year's program a special forum that focuses directly on investment. So investors who are attending today will have a great opportunity to actually invest in some of Turkey's best fintech startups and scale-ups. All the teams will be in the Lausanne Hall this afternoon to present their business models. This year we also decided to have a focus on the fintech industry. Yesterday, a special WBAF masterclass on fintech was hosted by Paolo Cironi of IBM Watson Financial Services, and who is, by the way, a global thought leader on fintech. Thank you, Mr. Cironi. We are fortunate to have a wide range of participants with us today, including the UK's best angel investor, Singapore's super innovator, Unido executives, the Trade and Industries Minister of Kosovo, and so many contributors. They will lead discussions on developing innovative financial and non-financial instruments to fill the early and post-early stage investment markets. Two important reports of the World Business Angels Investment Forum will be released today. The WBAF Southeast Europe Regional Report provides insights into issues and challenges in the region. Contributors to the report include the Southeast Europe Research Center, the International Faculty of the University of Sheffield. Many thanks go to Professor Tetikitis and his team. The WBA country report, Turkey, provides insights into issues and challenges in Turkey. Contributors to the report include the Turkish Trade Association for Business Angels, TBAA, and the Treasury Department of the Republic of Turkey. The World Business Angels Investment Forum 2017 marks the beginning of a new term for the organizations that are about to sign partnership agreements with the World Business Angels Investment Forum today. The London Stock Exchange Group, the World Association of International Investment Promotion Agencies, the European Trade Association for Business Angels, EBAN, the African Trade Association for Business Angels, ABAN, and the Middle East Trade Association for Business Angels, AMBAN. 
these MOUs are all aimed at supporting and empowering business angels and early and post-early stage investment, investment markets around the world. Tomorrow, you will have an opportunity to attend one of our WBAF Academy courses at the ITU Area Technocant, all taught by WBAF Academy faculty members. I also want to invite you to the opening ceremony of the biggest scale-up center of Southeast Europe at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning at Istanbul Technical University. This center is a milestone for the regional entrepreneurial ecosystem. I would like to thank Professor Mehmet Karaja, President of Istanbul Technical University, and Kenan Cholpan, Chief Executive Officer of the ITU Technopark, for their strong belief in the power of entrepreneurs. When it comes to excellence awards, the World Business Angels Investment Forum looks beyond borders. From business angels to policymakers to academics, these awards recognize those who stand out in imagining, discussing, and shaping the future of an entrepreneurial world. The World Excellence Awards will be presented tonight in this room along with the VIP reception and gala dinner. Our coming together today in Istanbul has been made possible thanks to the generous contributions of our sponsors and partners. I, I, I would like to express our deep appreciation to the following institutions for their generous support and for their commitment to a powerful angel investment ecosystem. First of all, we thank our sponsors the London Stock Exchange Group, Istanbul Technical University's Ari Technocant, the TEP Angel Investment Platform, Taluk Holding, Intel, Samsung, Fintech Istanbul powered by Interbank Card Center, Finexus, and NextChange. Our strategic partners have also made great contributions to the success of this event. These include Unido, the Republic of Turkey Prime Minister Investment Support and Promotion Agency, GBAN, EBAN, ABAN, NBAN, and TBAA. And many thanks, many thanks to our great media partners, Anadolu News Agency, Bloomberg HD, Dunya Daily, and Paraviki. And many thanks as well to our forum's official airline, Turkish Airlines. It is really rewarding to see that governments around the world have understood the importance of angel investment for boosting their economies. During the presidential summit on entrepreneurship in 2010, President Obama's response to my proposal to make public grants available to entrepreneurs in part partnerships with angel investors was encouraging. In a special meeting with me, he agreed with and supported my position on the importance of angel investors and about converting public money to smart money. Cash debt is invested by parties who are experienced, well-informed, and well-connected. I believe that new U.S. president will add further incentives and action plans to foster global entrepreneurial ecosystem. Many governments, particularly in Europe, offer attractive tax incentives for angel investors. The UK and Turkey, for example, have already passed angel investment codes to support such a system. A number of Middle East countries, particularly in the GCC, have discovered the angel investment system and are keen to engage with it. For one thing, it is 100% compatible with Islamic investment principles. In fact, the Islamic Development Bank proposed angel investment for consideration at its annual conference in Jakarta in May 2016. The World Business Angels Investment Forum invites all governments and policymakers to take advantage of the know-how, mentorship, and the networks of qualified angel investors and to convert public money to smart money by establishing close collaboration between public institutions and private resources, such as business angel networks, corporate ventures, and VCs. Ladies and gentlemen, as the chair of the World Business Angels Investment Forum, 
I invite you to join our global effort to ease access to smart finance, which will create more jobs and more social justice worldwide. Your efforts to convert the world economy to a smart economy in cooperation with the World Business Angels Investment Forum are very important. By working together across borders with a common vision and with these smart dynamics in mind, we are well placed to create positive change in the global economy. I am very pleased you have joined us today, and I am sure you will find this year's forum a rewarding experience. Thank you very much.